The names are killing me, people. Hi, everybody. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. I have a few videos to catch up on because I haven't been recording this week. I don't get political on my channel, and I try to make this a place where people can just escape. Yes, of course, I'm concerned about things that are going on. But for the most part, I want this to be a place of peace. I have to mention the atrocities that occurred the other day at the Capitol and the loss of life, the senseless loss of life that occurred. I believe in democracy. I believe in protests. I believe in the freedom of speech. But I think what occurred was horrendous. And I just want everyone to know that, of course, I'm thinking about it. But I do want this to be a place where we can step away from it for just a little while and come and enjoy makeup and laugh and give our minds a break from the chaos that surrounds us on a daily basis. In other news, my school is currently closed down uh, because we have had an enormous spike in cases and we just don't have the staff to uh, properly keep the school open. So this virus isn't going away. and. I pray that all of you stay safe and keep your family safe until we can all get this vaccine. Now that all of that is done, I finally got my Look Fantastic box. This is <laughs> December's. I wasn't able to get to my P.O. box and I was praying that it was going to come before Christmas and it wound up not doing so. It came the week after. And you know, my P.O. box is about 30 minutes away so I wasn't able to get to it. So when I finally was, I picked it up and it's actually been sitting here over a week now. So I thought, even though you can't get this box anymore, in case you're interested in Look Fantastic, which by the way, is a UK based box and it is $19 American dollars a month. If you sign up for a plan, you do save a significant amount of money. I think the three month plan is $16 a month. I purchased this box myself for a good two years or so. I stopped getting it because it's a very skincare heavy box and I have so much of it. So spending the money on the box wasn't worth it to me. They have so kindly now well, at least month to month, put me on their PR list, so this box was sent to me for review. And my review's late. <laughs> this is the only subscription box that I do get sent to me. All of the others I pay for myself. One thing I can say about them is their presentation. These boxes are absolutely stunning. What you see piled up behind me are past boxes that I do keep because they're absolutely gorgeous, and this one, absolutely, favorite word now, does not disappoint. This is slightly textured, not very much, but it's ever so slightly raised. The LF for Look Fantastic is more raised. This is a beautiful, like, it, it's black, but it almost looks navy. You do get, I believe, six products in here. They are not all full-sized. Some are full-sized, some are deluxe sample-sized you get a very nice heavy weight booklet that is going to tell you all of the items that you're going to get and what I love about it as well is the amounts that they put are in pounds obviously it's based overseas I do the conversion based on the day that I edit my video whatever that amount is that's the amount that I put for the price that it would cost in American dollars but for the sample sizes, they do the math for me. They're not telling me what the full size price is. They're going to tell me what the actual sample costs, which saves me a lot of time. And it's appreciated. I'm not going to look at this just yet. I like to be surprised and open the box and then go back and read about them because usually I will make at least a small fool out of myself not knowing what things are. And it gives you guys a laugh too. A lot of these brands are from the UK. So again, there are products that I haven't tried that are not readily available here, of course, unless you want to order them from overseas. And Baxter agrees. There's always some type of message on the inside of the box. And this one again is type, kind of embossed. It says Merry Christmas with love from the beauty box team, which is very nice. Baxter, don't chew on that box. The pick. Really? The paper always matches, and this time they have a little gold seal, which is beautiful. Oh, look at the squigglies they put in this month. Normally we get whatever colored paper squigglies they are of the color of the box. Yeah, that makes sense, Leanne. But these are the metallic kind, and they are so pretty. I'm going to save that for my giveaways so somebody else can be annoyed with the 
squigglies. Anyway, the first thing I'm pulling out is from the bomb. I'm going to put my new glasses on. It says, Petal to the Metal Va Va Voom Cream Eyeshadow. Ooh, I only have a couple of cream eyeshadows from the bomb. They came in a palette, the ones that look like the little baby license plates. And I've tried them, but this was interesting. What color is it in, though? It's called Shift into Overdrive. Their packaging is so cute. Sometimes I'm tempted, I'm tempted yeah, that's the right word, to depot them, but they're just so adorable. Oh, you know, they almost feel like a powder, yet they do feel wet. That's beautiful on the finger. Oh, that's very pretty. It doesn't feel wet and sticky on my hand. This is going to be one of those one and done eyeshadows, I think. Am I looking super pale on camera or is it me? Sometimes I don't know. The next thing I'm pulling out, glasses, is from Medic8. It's M-E-D-I-K and the number eight. Cute play on words there. And it says Hydra B5, oi, liquid rejuvenation serum. I'm going to have to read up on this because these glasses are not powerful enough. They're not my prescription. They're only readers. I've just recently finished like a whole bunch of serums. So I don't know whether I want to open this yet because I have some others backed up, but I like serums better than oils. I have so many oils and I don't use oils as much. So I'm happy to get a serum. So the next thing I have is from Jekka Black. It's called Glow Drops in Champagne. I'm going to make an assumption that this is a highlighter. Glow drops prep and brighten your complexion with a healthy and natural glow. Apply all over face using your fingertips before makeup. Wow, this is a rather large thingy here. And this is nice because so far I've gotten two makeup products. Yay. <laughs> this looked like hand cream. Yeah, it's just a liquid highlighter, and they say to put it all over the face. And that's really what I do with liquid highlighters. That's beautiful. You can mix these in with your foundation. Instead of having to go through that step, I just, as I said, throw it all over my face, which I did today with a cream, not like a liquid one. But same concept. I said that's really, really quite pretty. The next thing is a sample, and we get many products from Avant. This is their Propanadiol Mica Hyaluronic Maris Aqua Collagen Age Radiance. It says Pro Something Brightening Eye Final Touch. Oi, these words. It's an eye cream, <laughs> so I would say that this is a deluxe eye sample because it is 0.34 fluid ounces. As I said in my last video, I don't think mica really belongs in an anti-aging cream. The mica is not doing anything for your skin. What it is doing, it's reflecting the light back, giving the illusion of something. But it's in eyeshadows. I don't really like it in skincare. The next thing I have here is a Dumble Dumble. <laughs> The next thing I have here is a double-ended eye brush, but from what brand? Oh, Brushworks. I might have heard with, with them. I might have heard of them. Might not have heard of them. I'm not a huge fan of double-ended brushes, only because I don't have the proper place to store them. That's why I usually leave them out here, because I have a little case that I keep my eye brushes out here to use and uh, I don't have the space for them in my actual working space. Oh, this is very nice though. It comes with a liner brush and fuzz is attached and this is a flat shader. Very thick, very dense, it has a little bit of stiffness. This will be good I think for either glitters or just packing the shadow on. So okay. And then it's got the liner brush on the other end. I don't know how much I'm going to use it for that dual purpose. Always love getting brushes though, so we'll never complain about that. And the last thing in here is from Bella Pierre. I've tried quite a lot from Bella Pierre. This reminds me of a color correcting palette that I received quite a while back. I don't use color correcting too much. It's an added step that sometimes I don't have the time for, but if I have 
really really bad circles then I will or if I have a lot of redness etc this is pro concealer palette so I'm hoping it is sealed which is great I'm hoping that it's not the corrector palette very inexpensive packaging I think they try this company that is I just don't think that all of their products are that high a quality it's the same palette I have this already forget how much this was so let's go into the book and read the first thing I'm going to talk about is from brushworks this double-ended brush combines both shading and precision on one end is a shader brush perfect for packing on eyeshadow and blending out the edges on the other is the eyeliner brush and of course you can use these with any products that you want it's fairly stiff so I think it will make either a great eyebrow brush or an eyeliner because it does have that angle remember what I, I said I loved that they put the prices in here there are no prices in this booklet okay so that's a negative and that's one of the things I really like about them all right the next thing I have is the Jekka black champagne glow drops Again, they're stating that you can use it exactly how I said you can use it, mixing it with the foundation or just using it as a standard highlighter on top of your foundation. Again, I can't tell you the prices. So the Balm Petal to the Metal Eyeshadows, you do get, or you could have gotten, a variety of shades. I received Shift into Overdrive. They say they are creamy, blendable, and easy to blend. No. <laughs> creamy buildable yeah that's right and easy to blend they're suggesting you use the double-ended brush I usually just use my fingers and blend it out uh, or with some type of brush okay here's you could have gotten either the Medica Hydra Serum or the Ren Atlantic Kelp Body Lotion I would have been happy with either of those so this is a hyaluronic acid and it has a vitamin B5. The brand is cruelty free and it has no fragrances. I have two hyaluronic serums open. As a matter of fact that I got from this box, so I'm not going to open this. I'm glad that I didn't. Givant Pro Radiance Brightening Eye Final Touch. The names are killing me, people. They say this also has hyaluronic acid and seawater. Have to look up the ingredients. Well, the ingredients I think are on the back. I don't know, but I sure can't see them. Oh, okay, so here's what I am seeing is that they substituted. The Bella Pierre is not in the booklet. I was supposed to, as I said, either get the Percy and Reed hairspray or the Sukin Sensitive Pink Clay Facial Mask, but they must have run out, so I got this instead. What I do also like is that they tell you about the brands that you're getting and give you much more information about each of the products. So what do I think about my box? I really like the fact that it wasn't just skincare. I personally got three colored cosmetics and a makeup brush and I only got two skincare items. I said, so for me, I think that's fabulous because I'm a person who wants more makeup than skincare because I have too much of it. You know that I love my skincare. Skincare is everything. Do I think it's the best box ever? No, but heck, I could say that about a lot of my subscription boxes these days. I know that I'm happy because I'm going to use all of the products, so that makes it good for me. I'm going to look up the prices for you to the best of my ability. I am disappointed. Maybe it was just for this month that they didn't particularly do it because they've done it all of the time that I've had the box. I can say that I am certainly grateful for receiving it, and I do want to thank Look Fantastic for reaching out and sending it to me. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get every month, so I can't say. I'll see how next month's is. Most importantly, I would love to know what you think about the box. If you've watched me unbox it before, you know that it's normally more skincare than makeup. How do you feel about the fact that I got the four makeup products? What do you think about it overall? Once I put the prices, I'll let you know the overall value of the box and you let me know whether you think that's worth it. If you want to sign up for the box, I think I have a discount code for you. I don't make anything off of that if you do sign up. I think it's just for the 
them to be able to track it and see if they should maybe keep sending it to me but I think it does give you guys a discount if that's incorrect either way I'm going to put it in the description box for you I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I missed sitting down and filming. It's it's very weird when I don't get the opportunity or have the oomph to sit down and film. So I'm glad that I'm back to do it. I love you guys. Please stay well. Please take care of yourselves. Please. Once again, I love you. And of course, whatever part of the world you're in on around. I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing week coming up. I will see you really soon, guys. Bye.